finally a Christmas video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make one of my favorite household staples, eggnog. Yum, my favorite. So eggnog makes me wanna die. It makes me wanna throw up. I'm not a fan. But for some reason, every single year I buy it and I'm like, maybe I'll like it this year. Let me try it, let me, just, let me see if I like it. And I buy it and it tastes like shit. And I'm like, Ugh. and then I never touch it again. And then it goes bad and then I throw it out and I dump it down the sink in January and it's all chunky and disgusting. And then I have to clean my sink out and then I'm like, I'm never doing this again. So this year I've decided to make my own eggnog. It's definitely not a family staple. I'm sure it is in other families. But that's why I got my nice little Burberry shirt today that I thrifted. I look like a housewife who drinks eggnog for a living. We're making eggnog. So I looked up some of the ingredients. And yes, there's egg in it, which honestly, I'm probably stupid because I thought there wasn't. Then again, it tastes eggy, so I'm, I am stupid for thinking that. So I looked up a recipe, eggnog for one, and I'll read you the ingredients. It is... Half a cup of heavy milk, half a cup of heavy cream, one egg yolk, two teaspoons of white sugar, quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I know that's probably a key ingredient, but I don't have it. Half a teaspoon of vanilla, one shot of bourbon, rum, or cognac. So, okay. Let's try this out. Okay, let me get all the ingredients out. We got the cream, we got the sugar, we got the egg. I only need one egg, so let me take one egg out. Um, we need milk. I mean, I only have oat milk, but sure <laughs> this is the most bootleg freaking recipe ever now i'm just getting my cinnamon my cinnamon and my vanilla don't forget the vanilla and of course some cognac so we're gonna use henny 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 Woohoo! i better drink this because i'm not wasting a shot of henny that shit's expensive i did not buy it i got it from um so let's make our eggnog. Oh, I'm so excited. I love eggnog. So the first step is to heat the milk and the cream in a one quart saucepan on medium heat. While the milk and the cream are heating, combine the egg yolk and the sugar in a small bowl. All right, girl, let's do this. So we're doing half a cup of cream. Wow, I actually hate to waste. Guys, I better drink all of this. We're doing half a cup of cream. Yummy, yummy. And half a cup of milk. I feel like oat milk might have some nutmeg in it. I don't know, for flavor or whatever. I don't know. And I'm gonna put this on the heat for, I don't know, I guess on low, we'll see. Let me read those instructions again, I already forgot. So now I have to separate the egg and put the egg yolk in a bowl. So wait, what? So what do I do with the egg white? Do I use the egg white? So I'll put the egg. I haven't done this in years. Whenever I do this, I think of cooking mama, separating the egg yolk. You guys know what I'm talking about? Cause I don't bake or anything. So I literally never do this. I want that chunky white shit off of it. What is that shit called again? The gross part of the egg? Ew, eggs are so disgusting. Do you guys ever just look at eggs and think, damn, this shit is nasty. Ugh. Ugh. Sometimes, like, when I look at eggs, I understand vegans. I do. Like, these things are weird. Like, what is that white, chunky, discharge-looking thing? I'm sorry, I know that's disgusting. What is that white, chunky thing on the egg? Yeah, this is why my eggs have to be, like, pretty cooked. Like, I don't eat slimy eggs. Now I need two tablespoons of sugar. So, there's my little eggy egg. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. I think I'm gonna use a fork to do this. I'm gonna have to like poke at the egg. You know what? I remember as a kid, um, this was like a Polish, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> this was like a Polish delicacy, like, or like at least just a dessert because all my Polish friends would put me on. I never liked it, but I pretended to like it, if I'm being honest. Monica, I love you, I'm sorry. Um, put me onto egg yolk with sugar, and then it would be whipped until it was kind of creamy, and then 
we'd eat it. And I was always like, what the fuck? But I pretended to like it. And I, yeah, that got me into trouble because I had to end up eating it a lot. Uh, not a fan, but you know, it is what it is. So now I'm just gonna whisk that milk a little bit because it's on heat. Okay, so now I'm supposed to put this egg in slowly because we don't want it to curdle into the milk mixture and do like half a teaspoon at a time and mix it in. I have never done this before. I hope it doesn't get chunky, but yeah, pretty much this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm supposed to have it removed from the heat. Oh my God, don't fuck it up, Ashley. Is the egg really necessary in this? Like, what does it do? Whatever I'm doing is working. Like, it's not curdling. Oh. Oh, I fucked it up. When the milk mixture begins to simmer. Oh. I was supposed to add the milk mixture to the egg mixture, not the egg mixture to the milk mixture. It's all the same shit though. Honestly, either way, it's done. Like, I did it, what am I gonna do? So, now you put the heat back on and you add your cinnamon, your nutmeg, and your cognac. So, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. What is a good replacement for nutmeg? Allspice, mace, apple pie spice, ginger, cloves. Oh, cloves. Yeah, I'm gonna put two cloves. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing because I feel like I'm not showing you enough. Okay. I just gotta remember to take those out. Now, I'm going to pour this. I don't even know I'm gonna do this. Let's try. Oh my god, guys, I did it! Oh my god, I did it! Mm. I love vanilla. I put vanilla in like everything. It smells like egg. It's so interesting. It smells like French toast batter. I wonder if I'm gonna like it. I really wonder if I'm gonna like this or not because it does smell pretty good. It smells like French toast batter or like cinnamon toast crunch cereal milk. I don't know how long I've been like doing this for. I feel like just pouring it into a mug already. This is interesting. I haven't done any Christmas videos yet and I know this is barely a Christmas video, but it's something, it's something. After this, I'm gonna film another video, but I'm probably gonna be slightly tipsy because Hennessy gets me one shot of Hennessy and I'm like, I actually feel it, it's so weird. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes and then I'm gonna strain it and then pour it into a mug and then garnish it and then pour my shot in and ooh. Okay, so I kind of fucked up because I noticed that the milk was like starting to slightly curdle and that's not good at all because that's nasty, it's egg. It's literally, it could be scrambling. So I'm gonna have to use the strainer. This literally makes like nothing. Okay, um, how did it become this? This is so, this is nothing. I had two, I had a full cup of liquid in there. It had half a cup of cream and half a cup of whatever. And this shit looks chunky, look at that. It looks like, ugh. ugh. Sorry, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, let's just. Guys, guys. <laughs> Moment of truth, taste test. <laughs> it smells like straight up Hennessy. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. I can do this, I can try it.
I'm breathing in and I just, okay, Ashley, fucking man up. It's not bad. Okay, texture is giving me homemade oat milk. Flavor is giving me, it's not bad. It's not bad, but you know what? I need it to be iced. No, actually, hold on, let me try another step. Okay, it's actually good. Okay, would I make this again? Hell fucking no. No, I wouldn't, but if there was a dinner party and they said, do you want a cup of eggnog with honey? I'd be like, yeah, why not? And I'd have one cup, one cup. Because there's something about it that makes me feel, it's just, you just know that it's eggy and it, the, the texture is a little slimy. It's not like slimy, slimy. It's like, it's literally like homemade oat milk. You know, when you use a cheesecloth and then it's like thick, it's like that. Mind you, I did use oat milk. So maybe if I had used regular milk like the recipe called for, it would be a normal consistency. But as you can see, like it's very like thick, you know? But it's not disgusting. It's not like a sludge. The honey helps. And it's masked by the taste of the eggnog. So yeah, warm is good. It's not bad. It's actually decent. Like it's good. I will drink this whole cup. And I'll probably never drink it again, but I will drink the whole cup and I'll enjoy it. So there's that. Okay. Like what? Oh my God. I just called me Mrs. Claus. I'm out here making eggnog. What? Homemade eggnog. Homemade eggnog. This is better than the store-bought one. That's another thing I should say. Way better than the store-bought one. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish this cup of homemade eggnog that I made myself at home. Mm-hmm and film some more videos. Tonight I'm getting drunk. That's why I had the Henny. Tonight I'm getting drunk. I will be sipping on, where's my bottle? Here it is. I will be sipping on this, Snow Allure Premium Vodka um, for a video I'm gonna be doing, what's the video again? Oh yeah. <sighs> drunk makeup tutorial, pray for me. I have to take, the only makeup I have right now is lashes and um, brows, I don't have foundation or anything, so I'm probably just gonna take it off and do a little quick wipe, and then just redo my makeup. I'm very excited for that. So yeah, that's gonna be another day of vlogmas, you guys will see, I'm gonna do a, a Christmas look, so enjoy that. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Vlogmas is almost over, and I've barely done any Christmas shit, I need to get on it, I need to get on it. Mm -hmm.